So today I want to talk about the mystery and the riddle of Dylan Round's disappearance, especially his boots. Dylan Round's disappeared from his farm in Utah in the US on the 28th of May this year. Dylan was last seen in the Saddle Saw Bar, which is located in Montello in Nevada. The location where Dylan was last seen is approximately 30 minutes away from his farm. When Dylan disappeared, his boots were mysteriously left on his farm, but there was no Dylan. Since I learnt about Dylan's case, I've been wondering just why were his boots left on his farm. Now, initially, I did wonder whether Dylan had taken his own life and had wandered off somewhere barefoot. But from what Dylan's mother and family have said, Dylan didn't go anywhere without his boots on. He only wore one particular type of boots, and when he would wear a pair out, he would go and buy the exact same boots again. Now I must say I'm quite like Dylan in that respect. If I find a pair of shoes or trainers that I love, I often buy the same pair again and again and again. So I completely understand that. After I initially thought Dylan may have ended his life and wandered off barefoot, I wondered whether Dylan could have been run over. And in the impact, perhaps his boots were blown off of his feet. This does often happen when a person is hit by a car or a vehicle. And it also happens quite often when a person falls from a very high height. Obviously, I don't know if it's true. It's just a theory that I have that maybe Dylan was hit by a vehicle and the boots were blown from his feet. I am aware that on the day Dylan disappeared, there was rainfall overnight. This could have washed away any tire tracks any footprints and the rain could have potentially washed away evidence. Another theory that I have is perhaps Dylan was taken away by someone at force and for some reason his shoes were removed. I have no idea why that would be. It doesn't make much sense but perhaps in a struggle his shoes come off but again I've seen the type of boots that he was wearing. They don't look like they'd come off easily say in a fight and I just cannot understand why someone that was abducting someone or taking them off to kill them would remove their boots. So perhaps a third party removed Dylan's boots or maybe Dylan removed his boots to run away quicker from someone that was trying to hurt him. So guys have you been following Dylan's case? And have you been wondering, like me, just why Dylan's boots were left abandoned on his farm? This is such an odd case. Dylan has recently had his birthday and would now be 20 if he is still out there. I really hope he is still out there. Maybe he's run off for a new life. But that doesn't make much sense either. From what his mother has said, his dream was to run a farm. He was running a farm very successfully. He was a very happy young man. So why would he run away for a new life? Could he have gone away to end his life? But there's just been no trace of him, which is what makes this so mysterious. All of his farm has been searched. There's been drones and helicopters flying over. Hundreds of people helping to search. But yet, there's still no trace of Dylan. No one knows where he is. Now, there are suspects in this case and I'm going to cover them in a different video. But today I wanted to focus on Dylan's boots and just why they were left behind. If you've been following Dylan's case, why do you think the boots were left behind? Do you think Dylan maybe ended his life? Do you think he was running away from someone that was trying to hurt him? Do you think someone removed his boots and maybe abducted him? What reason could there be for his boots being left behind? Dylan's mother has confirmed that the police did find blood on Dylan's boots but I have to say I do not know whose blood it was I just hope it wasn't Dylan's so guys please share your thoughts with me on Dylan's case I do plan on making further videos on this case and I'd love to give my views to you all soon about the suspects and who I think might be involved please do share your views with me pop me a comment below and as always I'll look forward to reading your thoughts bye for now